Hi, welcome to Let's Try Science. Today, let's try a little science outside in the backyard with some of the things you might see around if you are living on the west coast. So what I'm showing you right now is a grapevine. And the grapevine has large leaves. It loses its leaves in the winter time so it is considered to be a deciduous plant. Deciduous plants lose their leaves in the winter and then get new growth in the spring. The grape vine is called a vine because it is a climbing plant and it likes to climb using tendrils. In tendrils part one, we looked at the morning glory tendril. Here we're going to look at the grapevine tendrils. Now this is late summer, early autumn, and because it is late summer, early autumn, you are seeing the dried out tendrils. They've already grabbed their position if they were going to, and they are starting to harden and dry up. In the spring, they're green. There's many of them, and they are reaching, trying to find something to help keep the leaves of the grapevine stable. Now another fun thing about the grapevine, of course, is the grapes. And you think, okay, so this is the fruit of the plant. Why does a grapevine have a fruit? Well, all plants have to create some way of reproducing, which is making more of that plant. In this case, more of that plant is more grapevines. Well, inside each one of these grapes, there are seeds. These are seeded grapes. I know you can get the seedless ones at the grocery store, but they're actually genetically altered to make them seedless. By nature, all fruit will have some type of seed inside or outside, like a strawberry has its seeds on the outside. Well, this has the seeds on the inside. Some of them have fallen off and you can actually see where the placement of the seed would be. And, it is designed so well, for one thing, as the year goes on, it would dry up and those grapes would fall off and land in the dirt and potentially get stepped in, worked in by rain, moved around by wind, and then you would get another grape bite. Okay. Another way that you might transport these seeds is an animal could come along, such as a bird, and decide they want to eat those grapes and they are eating the grape and the seed and when they get rid of it when their waste comes out the seed will come out with the waste and when that happens it could go into the ground again along with some fertilizer and you might get a grapevine so this grapevine has some very unique characteristics by nature it climbs using tendrils. It creates its seeds, making this fruit called grapes, which is seed inside. There are little flowers if you're looking at this plant in the spring, but we're looking at it in the late summer. So you're seeing the fruit. There's a, another close up of the tendrils. So go out, go in your backyard, go to your local park and do some exploring. 